All right, it's Boss Dawn 29 if I here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Ice Cream Sandwich, the official Cyanogen Mod CM9 version. It does have uh, a couple of bugs. The camera's not working. Uh, what else? Uh, titanium backup doesn't work too good on there. Uh, and the same problems that CM7 had. This is CM7 right now, but I'm going to show you guys how to install CM9. So, I already downloaded the file straight onto my HP touchpad. So, uh, if you don't have ES File Explorer, you should download it. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then I'm going to go find my um, folder. And it's in the download section, not the downloads section. So, you click on download. And there it is. Touchpad hacks folder. I'm putting the link in the description. I'm going to just hold the click and I'm going to extract to. I'm going to extract it right on here. So I'm going to just click OK. OK, once that's done, you're going to have a touchpad hacks ICS folder. Just delete this one. The zipped one. And go ahead and go into your touchpad hacks. And it has another folder within a folder. So touchpad hacks again. And you have uh, the G apps for the ice cream sandwich from and then the cm9 from cyanogen mod and then i provide a touchpad hacks um text that tells you all the problems and the links to the forums so you could get um all the information you want from there and it just tells you some of the problems let me see if i could open that up yeah so hardware video uh netflix YouTube works only in non-HD videos, so these are some of the problems. Audio is a mess, the microphone doesn't work, uh, camera does not work, market filter prevents some apps from being installed, titanium backup crashes the kernel, and uh, most of the hardware problems from CM7, like I said, still exist. Um, you can't connect the USB, I already tried it. So, <clears throat> and then the link at the top, if you want more information. So do not unzip these two. So now what we're going to do is just go ahead and shut off your HP touchpad. Turn it off. Okay, now that it's off, turn it back on. And you want to go scroll down to clockwork mod using the up and down volume keys. And select it with the home button. Okay, now that we're in Clockwork mod, what you want to do is go down to Wipe Data Factory Reset using the volume up and down keys and select the home button. Go ahead and go to Yes. Now you want to go and wipe the catch partition. Go ahead and click the home button to select it, and then select yes. And now you want to go to advance, which is the third to last selection. And you want to go ahead and wipe your Dalvik catch. And go to yes. And if you're having battery problems, go ahead and wipe your battery status, but I'm not having any battery problems, so I'm just go back. And now you want to go down to install zip from SD card. Select that using the home button. The first selection, which is choose zip from SD card. Go ahead and select that using the home button. And now go down to download. To download right there. Not downloads. Select it, and if you copied it from your um computer, and you you gotta make sure you remember where you put the folder. If you copied it from your computer, make sure you remember where you put the folder, and the rest you install it the way I'm doing it right now. But since I already put it onto my HP Touchpad, I downloaded it straight from the HP Touchpad. Um, it's in my download section. So now go to Touchpad Hacks ICS. 
folder and you want to select again touchpad hacks ICS folder because it's a folder within a folder and you want to go ahead and click on the update CM 9.00 RCO touchpad alpha zero full of bugs yada yada go ahead and click yes let it install all right now that it's done make sure it says install from SD card complete now you want to go back to um choose zip from SD card which is the first selection I'm gonna go back to my download that's where my I put my files at and touchpad hacks again I'm select it and now I'm gonna install the G apps ICS which is the first one and I'm gonna go ahead and click yes select the using the home button Just installing it. It didn't take that long to install the um the actual ROM, and this is pretty fast too. And now you want to go back and reboot system now. That's your boot screen. All right. So the first boot up took quite a while. And it's telling you to choose a language. I'm in the United States. I speak English, so start. Uh, wi Fi, I'm gonna just skip for now. I'm gonna skip this too. Time settings. I'm not gonna log in right now. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Uh, can I just click next? Okay, next. And finish. Uh, make yourself at home. Install the apps you want. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and go into the menu. Okay, settings. And I'm going to go to About Tablet. And you can see right there Android version 4.0.3, Cyanogen Mod version 9, RCO Touchpad Alpha, full of bugs. And um, like I said, it does have bugs. Some things work, some things don't. Um, I am going to play around with it. I got already a chance to play around with it. It's pretty smooth and fast, to tell you the truth. Um, is it better than CM7? So far, in my opinion, yes. But I need more time with it before I give. I make my final decision. You could expect updates um, probably from MYU. I and um Xron pretty soon they're probably gonna tweak this up before um Cyanogen mod gets to release their next alpha version. So I'm definitely waiting for that. And I will post videos on that. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe um for future updates. Any updates that I get, I will definitely post on here. So be sure to um look out for those, okay? Boss Dawn 29 to 5 out.